quadruped hip cars. The goal here is to isolate all the hip range of motion that we possibly can. Nothing else should be moving. So starting in a tabletop position, shoulders over the wrists, hips over the knees. I actually like to drop down to my forearms so my elbows go about where my hands were. That way I can look down, I can see what my legs are doing. And this gives me a little bit more stable base of support as I do this. So with my right leg, you're going to brace through your trunk. I actually kind of like to round the spine a little bit like you're in a bit of a cat position. So with my right leg, I'm going to bend my knee all the way shut. I'm going to drive my hip back. So I think heel to sky, then knee to sky, knee to elbow. Come back into the center and repeat. Heel to sky, knee to sky, knee to elbow. Reversing direction. Knee to elbow, knee to sky, heel to sky. Finish off the circle. Knee to elbow, knee to sky, heel to sky. As you perform this, it's going to be natural to want to let your body really like move around and help with this. We don't want any of that. This is pure hip motion. Again, not letting the spine move, not letting your pelvis open, nothing. Heel to sky, knee to sky, knee to elbow, back to the center, and we'll just reverse it from here. Knee to elbow, knee to sky, heel to sky. That heel to sky portion is usually particularly challenging. I see it very often where as soon you get the knee to the sky and as soon as the heel wants to come up, the knee drops down. No. Knee to the sky stays in place. Pull that heel up. That's as far as I can get it right now. But as I start to sweep back, I can really get the heel to the sky. Do your best to isolate this motion. It is very tiring. Do your best.